back to the women fam. Don't mind me. My hair is a mess. And fate just took hers out. Oh my goodness. My baby girl is going to be 13. 13 soon. I like your hair like this. In what, 24 days? Less than that. It looks good. So, um, we're about to just go do some errands uh right now quickly i know i was just in the house i was like i need to get out i gotta get some stuff because i need some banana and what else do i need some yam and sweet potatoes and some other stuff because i'm about to make some aki and saltfish for dinner yeah fate don't eat aki but she does eat the saltfish so yeah as usual i gotta put her food her meat aside. Yeah, she just needs to take it out first before she add the aki in or else I won't eat it. Yeah, so, yeah. It's not just one picky eater I got in my house. I got two of them. Okay, Mara's way bigger than me. So, now, um, about to head out just now. Everybody is doing construction on their house, like, literally. I can't see my These people phone. are doing their what? front yard here. Oh. Over there, they're doing work. Mm -hmm. But, hey, might as well. It is the season, but... Ow! Oh, sorry, hey. sorry. Okay, but I'm gonna head out and go get, oh, happy fill up the tank. Oh, thank you, babes. That's so sweet. So I'm about to head out and get what I got to get done. What, what, watch this nosy bugger here. Let's see if he's gonna stare in here. I'm like, why is this girl talking to her? <laughs> so let's go. Time, well, go listen to some music. Is it, is it music let me lose control? What's up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so time to put in the tunes. I have not worn my sweater in a long time. So I just finished running through the store. I went to the Caribbean store. Holy cow. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got for $12,000. Just over $12,000 Jamaican. <laughs> Y'all will be surprised. You know how we get back home for the amount of money I just spent? Oh my God, I'm sorry. Is it. So it was a... Uh, yeah, so there is a price. I don't know if y'all could see it. All right. Yeah, so that's about 12,000. Just over 12,000. It is. Yeah, just over 12,000 um dollars Jamaican. Like I'm literally going to show you guys home, but right now me and Fate are going to eat. Fate, um did you sign something in the bag? Take something out. Take this up now. Oh. It's not high enough. I know this thing has just been, been like melting. <laughs> I know it's melting and it's getting even worse. Oh, there we go. We fix that part. Yeah, I got this. So I got myself a chicken patty. No, no, this is a beef. This is a beef one. Here. So me and Fate are having a little quick buzz to eat. A quick bite. What are you looking for? Um, it's not that. Is that no the juice? That yeah, look at chubby. Yeah. And I got me a little chubby. You can't get no bug juice up here. Say hot girl can't get no bug juice. <laughs> so according to the I look like juice, I'm six. Say hot girl don't drink bug juice. I literally look like I'm but six years old. Look in a business, my love my bug juice. I wish I was home to get some right now. Oh, my I'm, so I'm Jamaica cute. deprived. Like Mm -mm. What do you think, mommy? You like it? What, your hair? Yeah. Yeah, hair looks good. Leave it like that for a couple of days. What? Leave it like that for a couple of days. Nah. Why? Easy. Next thing you know, I'm going to start combing out and then my hair will start dripping out. <laughs> so, we're going to eat some patty and then, well, I wanted a poutine, but the patty, we couldn't pass up the patty. Look it up. I haven't eaten anything from morning. Honestly, I could pass up the patty. Well, without poutine? Huh? You want the food Yeah. This is so good. Yeah. It's good stuff. I'll go through the stuff and show you guys what I bought. It's so crazy. I want like three bags. Hmm? I want like three bags of stuff. Mm-hmm. Right now in Jamaica, could I get Woody Pop Buck? I don't care about that. But what I just spent. That amount of groceries, that amount of money, so it lasts me about close to probably two weeks. The amount of money that I just spent, if you shop smart. So, 
Definitely, I'm gonna show you. If you're going to school and like you buy box food every day, you, I feel like you would, you would be able to go for a whole week and more. Because usually box food is either like, um, where we used to go to school, it'd be, I think, $200 or $250 mm -hmm. for chicken and chips. But $250 is like two, $2.50 cents Canadian. Mm -hmm. It was less than that. About that hurt us a little bit under a day. That's nothing. Comparing to how much I spend on school alone for Memphis. It's about what? I think three three hundred. For Memphis alone to go to high school over here guys, I'm spending about three hundred just over three hundred a month for him. Mm -hmm. And that's for one child. To go to school and he's in um high school right because he buys lunch every day mm -hmm. um and that's him and he, even with him buying lunch every day that's him just being modest and smart with what he buys else it would have cost me more than three hundred dollars probably that double that <laughs> because well he's in high school like who really wants to be packing lunch you've been packing lunch for how much years and it's cold and for me, I've always hated. That's why I love like that. While well, my parents had lived close to school, I could just leave lunchtime and go home for for lunch instead of me having to like make hot dogs and bring them. I hate eating my food cold, so that was like the worst thing for me. So yeah, so it's it's quite expensive, and three hundred. It's almost about thirty grand Jamaican a month. It's like sometimes alone. you can't figure out what to make in the morning for lunch. Right? So that's why sometimes it's better because if I went to high school, I'd probably just get like an ice cap and then. <laughs> but like an ice cap and a burger. Before I get. I'd switch it up. But at times, the good thing about it, like with the kids, them, um, the girls, they were able, they have like a food program where you can, um, they call. What was your lunch program called? Was it like hot meals? Something like that. Where you can order up. So you can order for the whole year or order every month. So sometimes the girls um, would make lunch and bring it to school. But I'm like, after a while, like just making those stuff, the breads and all that shit gets soggy. Like, I oh, I don't know how they do it because I couldn't. That's why it just depends on what I'm making. Like when I'm making hot dogs, I put the hot dogs separately from the bread. Yeah. So, put it in there. Um, what I used to do is I would order their lunch, like um, the meal. So that that was another like cost as well. But when you look at it, if I'm saving and I could just buy snacks for them and they get to eat something, and I like when the kids them have hot meals for lunch, they would get like uh, salads. Mm -hmm. They would get like chicken um, chicken salad. They would get like wraps, pita wraps and stuff like that. They have days when they had pizza. Nugget. They had like Thai food days. Um, mm -hmm. You guys would even have, they would even had like French fries and, and, nuggets. and nuggets as well. And they come freshly like made hot to school. So that I definitely like for the kids. I don't understand why over here they don't have a cafeteria. They should. Oh, excuse me. They definitely should. But me and Faith, they should have cafeteria in elementary school. Because they're always talking about, oh, kids need to eat more healthy food and, oh, parents need to pack more healthy snacks. Why don't you guys have cafeterias in your schools and have healthy food, serve healthy food? You guys have a menu every week, so send home the menu. That we could see the menu of what the kids are eating. And then that would be like a better thing for the kids them as well because they're getting a hot meal at lunchtime and they get to sit in a cafeteria and actually eat. I think that will be more sustainable, more than always packing lunch. And then at the end of the day, they're bringing back home the garbage because they're not allowed to put any of their garbage or whatever in the uh, thing at school. So me and Faith are going to go finish our patty wow. and then we're on to our next adventure. Well, Faith's done, of course. <laughs> Faith's done. I'm still eating. So I'm going to go finish eating my patty, guy. Heading back to our quarters. <laughs> Yeah, I need to get a new tripod for my car. Like, this tripod, like, sucks. So, oh, 
I wanted to show you guys the you guys can see the leaves them are changing over here so you know winter is almost here because this is fall but it's getting cold all over the ground so I'm just giving you guys a little bit of a road tour because I know I don't do a lot of that like when I'm driving are going out right now to the chip truck. We're gonna go. <laughs> Come in, promise her poutine, and now she still wants the poutine, so we're gonna go buy her some poutine. So we need a stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. Look at my head! Oh, what? Look at my head. I'm oh. literally eating my own hair. Yeah, you're okay. Oh, I need my mask. Grab the mask. I'm gonna have to come so. God. Go grab me the mask. Two of them. Hurry up. <laughs> oh lord. And this is the thing that I hate about COVID. Like literally every minute I keep forgetting my mask when I get out the car. So now I have to grab one. Take the other one out of my purse. Like even just to stand up and get food. Oh shoot. I need a mask. I just ordered a small poutine and they literally gave me the wrong thing. So now I have Faith out there bringing the food back to them because I don't know what the hell they just gave me. <laughs> oh, and oh boy. Imagine I had like literally drived off with the poutine and it's not what I ordered. Then I would have had to, oh shoot, uh oh. And I would literally, oh, sorry, I'm sanitizing my hand. And I literally would have had to come back because I ordered a poutine back out there because I ordered a poutine and it looked like this woman don't want to give fate what I ordered. So let me get back over there because this is just ridiculous. I just literally had to go out there to go make sure that I got my order. And the woman even screamed, like, look at this. You pay so much money for, oh shoot, for this. And look at that. She doesn't even put the right amount of cheese on here. This, this what is this? Like, this is just, oh. Look at my head, it got worse. So setting in the wind. And then first you made the order wrong. She made, yeah, then the she redid the other order because obviously she can't take the food back. So I don't even know what that is, right? But Faith said she's going to try because they, they said you could throw it out. But Faith said she wants to try it and see what it is. Does it taste good? And there is like literally no cheese on my poutine. Like I love my poutine cheesy and there's like no cheese on here. But you know what, whatever. Better I just think because I don't want nobody spit food because a lot of times you choose not to eat out. I cook and make sure i cook while you guys see me eat a lot at home i know that there's some sick people out there in the world but i don't are you guys seeing us eating again not eat this i guess we're just having a mini girls day out feet skipping school <laughs> so you're skipping school and then you're gonna go home and go start cook dinner but let's go over and mm. I'll catch you guys at home. About to pack the food away. Um, so let me show you guys what I got for twelve thousand Jamaican dollars. So I got this here. I got what is this? Three little so three packs of cock soup. One, two, what is this? Three bun. One little piece of cheese, these are like six dollars, so six hundred Jamaican dollars each. So call this one thousand two hundred for them two pieces of cheese. These here, and I got six of these. Six little ones. So six little one of those. A big one. Two little stingy lasco. 
vanilla lasco me find baby lasco because we finally ran out of the big ones them from what january we brought them up and then a little pack two little pack of all purpose seasoning and then i got myself my ginger tea and we got a little piece of scallion there selfish this was like ten ten dollars for this little something here so time and then well i got two more chubbies me and fake drank two two so i got four chubbies those were like i think 60 60 cents each i get myself a coca-cola champagne syrup and a little bit of scotch bonnet pepper Got one of these. Get my little piece of yam. And me got me two little pieces of sweet potato. And what do you call this? The little tiny, what is this? Six, six finger a banana or so. Yes, guys. This little thing right here is what cost me 12, just over 12,000 Jamaican dollars. You can't believe it? This little little things right here, so cost over twelve thousand Jamaica dollars. That is just crazy. So, yeah, I'm going to <laughs> pack them away, um, and yeah, I'm gonna bring them up and I'm going to pack them away. So I just wanted to show you guys what twelve thousand hundred and what so one hundred and twenty. Yeah, so twelve thousand dollars, twelve thousand Jamaican dollars can can get you in a foreign. <laughs> and it's so funny it's so funny how you can imagine just that a little bit of stuff costs so much money and that's why i always tell people don't complain because trust me for that bit of money i could have got myself a good amount of stuff back home so now you guys see what that costs if somebody is in jamaica that is watching this and you guys are a vlogger definitely or even if not when y'all do your groceries send me a picture in my uh, dm let me see what twelve thousand jamaican can get you definitely i definitely want to see it it's been a while since what december since i lost about food and yeah the next time i go home i would definitely do a haul to show you guys what 12 or whatever i buy her all fears we see, no one will left We can't sink on the Titanic Fight for you, you fight for me, die for you Let my way them tell us and make who no be the wife for you I think I did pass how we pass it just like an interlude How they meet how them greet is like we life I interview That thing I did is I know it's every day You want my